Welcome back to Central Tabletop Gaming. I am your host, Jeremy Kelly, here with yet another model display video. Today we will be talking about the standard custodies from the Adeptus Custodies rulebook. For those of you who may not be aware, these were recently introduced at the very end of 7th edition, though they have remained in lore for a long time. These models here will specifically be coming out of the Burning of Prospero box set, as well as the Talons of the Emperor box set. Now, if you notice with these custodies, um, some of them will not have their talus that they have on the top of their helmets off. That is simply due to the fact that I did run out of red paint, and I do paint my models before assembling them. A lot of people tell you to do it the other way. I found some models are easier to do some ways. Some models are easier to do the other, so please excuse the fact that they are not completed models, but they will be by the time I get them ready for a battle report video. Now... We're going to go over the different weapons and stuff that the Custodes come with because I feel these are very important to their character. The Custodes have very exclusive weapons that, to my knowledge, no one else in the Imperium has. One of my personal favorites is the one that, honestly, they're most famous for, and that is the Guardian Spear. This is a bolt gun attached to a power, I would say lance, for lack of words, more like... Albert, honestly. And it's a very nice weapon, in my opinion, for the tabletop games, because it gives them a sense of being able to carry two things in one, which is something only a few armies ever get. It's a very rare thing to see. I know with uh, the Necrons, the, what is it called, staff of the typical Necron staff, it has a ranged and melee ability. This is not something very common, and it becomes very hard for a character to multi-purpose sometimes without it. Um, you'll also notice that they have a thing here in this guy's hand that is known as a Miss, Miss Cordia, or Miss Concordia if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And adding these to your models is really just a great idea because custodies excel at melee combat. Adding this in the tabletop game gives you an extra attack after your previous ones are done. That little extra I have actually seen turn a few games back into my favor when I was worried that a shooting army would have its full advantage. Custodes in the game also have three hit points. With their two-up armor save, this is a very nice thing. So make sure if you're running a Custodes army to keep in mind, they do have the lovely flaw, though, of their army does not come with a Psyker model. I faced my friend's regular librarian and happily regretted it shortly afterwards. But going back to their different weapons. This one here shows what looks like a sword. This is known as a Sentinel Sword. This is essentially, I would say, a Storm Bolter equipped to a Power Sword. Now, that sounds epic. And it is, for the simple fact that even though it does lack a little bit of the range, it does provide more firepower than the Guardian Spear. That, and equipping it with a Storm Shield, as you see on this model here, oops, makes it a little bit nicer for keeping them alive, providing them a higher invone save. This cannot be equipped, however, the shield cannot be equipped, however, with the sword to the best sorry, to the spear, to the best of my knowledge. The only other weapon the Custodes have that I don't have for display here is their axe. I'm not sure of the standard axe. I do know there's the Watcher's axe, which is on the Commander, which I have right here. But I don't know if they all look the same. And, hold on. I had his arm busted off I have to repair that but he is their commander he is one of the few pieces that works as a commander for the custodians army something I would suggest as a player if you're actually looking into playing the game however is in the Talons of the Emperor box set you'll get models here with the cape custodians also can have what's called a shield captain and it is very important to make sure that you choose if you want him to be a regular Custodes or a Shield Captain in order to give you that little edge. The other thing that comes with your Custodes is a very, very nice 
Venerable Contemptor Dreadnought. This model is not fully painted, to my apologies. These can come with one of two weapons, an Assault Cannon or a Multi Melta. I'm personally a fan of the Assault Cannon, though Multi Melta would be great for other things. It also comes with your standard Dreadnought melee weapon or close weapon. But, other than the brand new, just recently introduced, what are they called, Dawn Eagle Bikes, this is what exists mostly in the Custodes Army, minus their Terminator variants, which I'm going to tell you I'm not super impressed by. The only other thing I can really show you is their Standard Bearer, which is one of your elite choices you can choose from, which has a very, very nice banner on it. Um, also recommended add a Miss Concordia to these things. Getting them into melee combat, they will get slaughtered easily. That Miss Concordia at least gives you a fighting chance. But that is all I have for this video. Again, if you liked it, please, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I will see you again later.